Okay, so it's a great pleasure to have Simone Giacomelli from Milano Bicocca and I'll speak about or he give comments on non invertible symmetries in the Jerry Douglas theories. Please take it away, Simone. Okay, thank you very much for the invitation. It's a pleasure to give a seminar in this seminar series. And um, okay, I start by apologizing for not including all relevant references uh, in my slides. Please let me know if I missed uh, uh, an important or an important work you did. Okay, so let's start from uh, the motive. Wait. Okay, so let's start from a theoretic motivation for so um, over the past few decades um, we have uh, considerably improved uh, our understanding of superconformal theories uh, models with supersymmetry uh, now we have a very huge uh, landscape and it includes uh, many strongly coupled theories for which we don't have a, La a lagrangian description or uh, it is uh, not known yet so in the absence of a Lagrangian description, how do we analyze the theory? Well, we have uh, several uh, geometric tools uh, available at our uh, disposal, uh, from which we can extract a lot of information about the theory. These include uh, brain realizations. We have uh, class S construction, with or without uh, irregular punctures. And we have, of course, uh, geometric engineering, especially in type 2B. This is the most uh, developed case. So uh, although from this uh, geometric construction, we can extract a lot of information about the theory, even when a Lagrangian description is not available, uh, many of the properties uh, are still hard to, under, uh, to understand. One example, for instance, is the global structure of the, of the conformal manifold. With all uh, these geometric methods, it's quite easy to, under, uh, to compute the dimension of the, of the conformal manifold, but its global properties and their duality groups uh, are more tricky. And so, Part of the motivation of this work is to try to make progress in this direct direction and try to understand the more this refined data. Of course, uh, there is an, ex an exception uh, to this statement uh, or well, class S theories with regular punctures only. Uh, their uh, conformal manifold is encoded in the, in the geo in the geometry of the Riemann surface. Uh, and in that case, uh, we can understand a lot about this duality group as well. Okay. So in this talk, I have to uh, review a lot of material. So I will start by discussing non invertible symmetries for n equal for super young means, which will uh, also extend to the strongly coupled models, which we will discuss later on. And we will indeed uh, introduce uh, the uh, strongly coupled theories we are interested in, uh, Argyros Douglas theories and their gaugings. And then uh, I will try to explain how to understand S dualities for all these theories. Um, a subclass of these Argyros Douglas theories actually turned out to have an SD, uh, a class S description involving regular punctures only. So from that description, whenever it is available, we can understand uh, uh, the S duality data. And then uh, for all the theories for which a class S realization with regular punctures is not no, known, we have to rely on some other, me on some other method. And it turns out that all of them can be obtained uh, as torus compactification uh, of a six dimensional theory with minimal supersymmetry. And, that, and therefore, the S duality of the model will be inherited from the modular transformation on the torus we compactify. Okay, so let's start from the first entry. So, 
let's begin with an equal form, super young Lewis. Uh, it is now well known that this theory comes in several variants, depending on the global structure of the gauge group. Uh, the theory famously has NS, NSL2Z as duality group, and the, gen and, the gen and the generators allow us uh, to go from one global variant to the other. Uh, to illustrate the point that we use the FU2 k case, we, which is the, the simplest. Here we have uh, three, three variants, SU2 and then PSU2, which comes in two variants, plus and minus, which are related by a, a two pi shift of the T-time. Okay. Now, the story becomes a little bit more complicated uh, if we add uh, a background gauge field for the one from the same, uh, same uh, it is well known that all these models have one form symmetry equal to the center of the gauge group. And here we have this more complicated diagram in which uh, uh, each global variant has an extra label, zero or one, depending on whether we include a counter term of, the, of this type or not. And we also have uh, this new operation tau, which corresponds to stacking with the with this counter term with the Pontryagin square of the uh, two form gauge field, and then sigma, which corresponds to gauging the one form symmetry. Okay, in this system. We can construct a lot of non-vertible uh, symmetries, essentially by considering uh, closed loops uh, in this diagram, so com combining sigma tau s and t transformations. This was discussed in these four, pay four papers. Just to give any, an example, let's consider the simplest one. We start from SU2 at some coupling tau, and we include our V2 uh, back on gauge field. Now, if we perform an S transformation, SU2 is mapped to S of V plus, uh, tau goes to minus one over tau. And then if we gauge the, the one form symmetry, we get back the, uh, to the SU2 global form with, uh, with coupling my minus one over tau. Okay. If we consider the gauging operation only in a half space, space so our uh, uh, space time in which the field theory lives is R3 times the line depicted here. So uh, here we gauge uh, only on the right. And so uh, now, uh, two sigma, we can associate an interface between these two theories, SU2 tau and the depth of V plus with coupling tau. And then we, first, we go back to SU2. Now, when we let uh, these two collide, we get this new interface N. And when tau is equal to I, the field is mapped to itself, and this interface becomes a defect inside our theory SU2 with tau equal i. It can be checked from the fusion rules that this defect n is non-invertible, and this is the main ingredient for constructing our non-invertible symmetry. Okay. Now, uh, in this discussion, uh, what we used is the F duality group of an equal form, which is SL2Z, the presence of the one form symmetry and the mixed anomaly between them. So um, all theories with these properties uh, will have the same structure. So uh, this discussion will apply also to them. And what we want uh, uh, what we want to to argue is that uh, uh, this construction applies also to a class of uh, uh, strongly coupled algebraic theories 
which are going to intro all this month. Okay. Um, are there any questions so far? I have a question. Um, so you say the S duality group of the N equals two theory, uh, uh, SU two theory is SL two Z, but isn't it some you know a congruent subgroup like gamma naught of two or something like that? In other words, the S duality transformations, as you showed, like on your first slide, um, mm -hmm. in SL two Z, change the global structure, and the or there isn't the correct conformal manifold, you know, uh, a multiple cover or multiple copies of the fundamental domain of SL two. Consider all the um, all the global forms uh, simultaneously. Uh, let's, let's let's say so. We can uh, think of this theory as a vector whose entries are all the possible global variants, and uh, S and T transformation acts on them. Uh, but yeah, for SU2, indeed, uh, we have uh, only gamma zero two, uh, which are mm -hmm. in the middle. And, and then, so I don't know if this plays a role in what you're about to say, but what, what's a little surprising to me is you find this, and then you do this, you know, um, gauging of the one form, and you find the non invertible uh, defect at a special value, say tau equals i. But from the point of view of, of the fundamental of the of the conformal manifold, you know, for gamma naught of two, that's just a regular point in the interior of gamma naught of two. And there is a Z3 orbital point on that conformal manifold, kind of a special point, but it's at a different location. I forget the exact value. Uh, yeah, from this perspective, you have to look at points uh, uh, where uh, um, a subgroup uh, of the S duality group uh, becomes, uh, so to say, a symmetry of the, uh -huh. of the, of the theory. So it maps tau to, to itself. Okay. So uh, in this sense, uh, the interesting points are either tau equal i or uh, tau equal e to the two pi i over three. There's another point, which is neither of those, which is, um, I mean, it's not special. It's uh, it's a different corner. Uh, if you, of the, of the conformal manifold for, uh, of the fundamental domain of, of that, of gamma naught of two, of that, uh, congruent subgroup. I forget, I'm sorry, I forget like, it's maybe it's something like uh, uh, one plus I over two or something like this might be the value. But- um, uh, Yeah, okay. So I, I, mm -hmm. um, I'm just curious, are, are there, so, uh, that of course is, it's, it's, if it's I remember fixed correct, by other, other companies. That is left invariant by ST. Or something like that, yeah. Yes, exactly. So, okay, here we start from uh, SU2. Uh, if you start from uh, SO3 minus, uh, it's more relevant for uh, that case. I see. That case. So there, there are also some spectrum or also of non-invertible defects at yeah, those yeah. values? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, if you look at this uh, reference here, the rightmost, uh, they uh -huh. have uh, in detail uh, all, the, all the cases for SU2 okay. and SU3 and and also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay, good, Bye. Okay, now let's come to our main players, Argyros Douglas theories. Uh, so these are uh, very special models. They, uh, uh, they are characterized by Coulomb branch operators with fractional dimension. This tells us that we cannot have a conventional n equal to Lagrangian description. And like uh, gauge theories, their number of degrees of freedom or their central charges agencies gave uh, space linearly in N. 
Uh, these have been originally found at special points on the Coulomb branch uh, of um, conventional asymptotically free gauge theories. Uh, and this is somewhat analogous to the uh, procedure we will consider uh, later, starting from uh, 60. Okay. Um, Soon after the discovery of this theory, it was found that uh, many examples of this can be more efficiently found uh, uh, with the geometric engineering construction. So we consider a type 2 distance theory. We compute it on a singular uh, Calabi-Yau fold. We want it singular in order to decouple gravity and get a theory with a rigid supersymmetry. We usually take type 2B because of some uh, complex structure deformations. Uh, encode the, the exact subaludian solution of the theory so we can understand the quantum correction just from classical geometry. Uh, there are several families of such theories which are well, well known. Uh, the most studied case uh, is uh, that of a hypersurface in uh, C4. One example is the case in which we have the sum of two AD singularities, this leads to algebraic diverse theories called uh, GG prime. Then if we want to construct a super Yamil's theory with the group G in this way, we can uh, simply take again uh, the AD singularity. And then uh, we add uh, uh, these exponential terms, which we can think of as a C star valued uh, va variable. And just by modifying slightly this equation, we get uh, this other singularity, where Z is again sister valued. And this describes uh, uh, G superior means uh, coupled to a superconformal system, which was called DPG in this work. Okay. This is a theory with uh, G global symmetry, which uh, in context number three has been gauged. The flavor sample charge uh, is well known, can be computed in many ways. Here uh, HV is the uh, dual Coxeter number and P can be any positive integer. This allows us to determine the contribution to the beta function if we gauge the G sim. So one thing we can do is to uh, take a uh, collection of DPG models, gauge them together, and we get a super conformal theory with vanishing beta function, provided that the P parameters of the DPG models chosen satisfies this constraint. Uh, the combinations uh, which solve this equation for IVG are these four. Uh, infinite fa families. So three include uh, three meta sectors, and the other one includes four, four. For brevity, we will call them trinions from now on. So uh, here we have uh, a vector multiple G, uh, which has vanishing the function, and we can ask uh, what's the s duality group for it. Okay. These trillion theories do have a uh, type to be a realization, a realization as an upper surface in C4. The constraint uh, we have uh, for the upper surface are, are these ones. We want this singularity to be isolated. And then we have a constraint on the central charge of the underlying uh, landau ginzburg model, which lives on the worksheet uh, of, this, of the type to be string. Uh, and this inequality is very required uh, so that the singularity is at finite distance in the modular space. And this was studied uh, in these two, pa two papers. From now on, we will restrict uh, only to trillion theories with G special unitary. Uh, this is the simplest class, and uh, uh, it is described by an hypersurface singularity of this, for, of this form. So here we have uh, P1, P2, and P3 uh, denote uh, 
um, the value of the p parameters. This for the case of uh, three matter sectors. And then since we have a super conformal theory, we have a corresponding uh, exactly marginal coupling, which is uh, this number alpha. Uh, we can indeed check that uh, for uh, P1, P2, and P3. In this list, uh, this term has always the same weight uh, as the others. Okay. Uh, all the other Coulomb branch uh, mass parameters and so on are, include, are included in this deformation type. Okay, very good. Now, let's look at the as duality group of this of this field. As I said at the, at the beginning, for some of them, we do have uh, a class of description with regular punctures only, which can help us. Uh, in the case of trinium theories with four metal sectors, this is relevant for us because uh, uh, we can construct them exactly in this way. Uh, in particular, we will use uh, a recent result derived in this, paper, in, in this paper, who observed that trinium theories uh, with G uh, equal to SU2 n plus one uh, can be constructed uh, um, um, using a sphere with four twisted punctures. We we for Z two twisted punctures uh, starting from the two comma zero theory of type A to N. Okay. Now uh, the position of three of the punctures can be fixed to be at zero one and infinity. And, inf and infinity, the fourth one uh, instead is unconstrained, and this is what parameterizes our conformal manifold. This has a uh, weakly coupled cusps, singularities at which uh, the Riemann surface degenerates. One uh, is at uh, Q equal to zero. In this limit, uh, the Riemann surface degenerates to a pair of spheres. And the uh, SC2 n plus one uh, gauge group associated with this end becomes uh, weakly coupled. Okay. Now, uh, this setup is very, is very similar, uh, for instance, to the classes construction for uh, SC2 with four flavors, in which we have for untwisted pun uh, punctures. And from this description, uh, uh, we can conclude that all the cups in the conformal manifolds are the same. We have an SL to Z as duality. Naively, this is uh, this setup uh, is slightly different because we have uh, cuts uh, in the game, but actually this is this is not true. And that be uh, that be because if we take for instance another degeneration limit, so let's say Q well, going to infinity, now we have both cuts running along the handle, and if we let the two cuts collide, uh, since the fusion of two Z two twist lines gives a, tri a trivial twist. We can simply rearrange the cuts in this way. So we end exactly with the same situation as before. And in the degeneration limit, we get two spheres with one cut on each side. So again, from this, uh, we can recover an SL to Z as, du as duality. Uh, okay, now uh, let's consider more in detail. Uh, at uh, how these duality transformations act on uh, the global structure of the gauge group. Okay, uh, the information about uh, uh, the defect group of this theory has been worked out uh, in this paper. It is known that uh, the defect group uh, of the of this uh, four puncture sphere is uh, Z to n plus one. Square, square, squared, and this group is, is generated by one cycles on the surface, one running around one cut, and the other going from one cut to the other and then back. Okay, 
Uh, these are, uh, we, we can think of these as the Wilson and Toft lines uh, in our four dimensional series. This comes from uh, uh, surface defects uh, of the 2,0 series in six dimensions, which, which is wrapping uh, these cycles on the remote on the on the remote sur surface, and a choice of global form for the gauge group uh, corresponds to choosing a way of satisfying the Dirac quantization condition. Uh, so, if we choose a polarization such that uh, the gauge group becoming weakly coupled when for instance, Q uh, goes to zero, is uh, Fu to N plus one. Then uh, when we take uh, the other limit, uh, Q going to infinity, so we can consider the other colli collision, we can easily see that after rearranging the, uh, the twist lines, uh, as we have done before, uh, these two sets, uh, uh, of line operators just get interchanged. And this, may, and this means that in the, the generation limit Q going to infinity, um, the gauge group uh, becoming weakly coupled will be uh, P SU to N plus one. And this behaves exactly as in the corresponding N equal four theory with the same gauge group. Now, let us consider a slightly more uh, complicated setup. Uh, so far, we, uh, we looked at the trinion with four uh, uh, D two meter systems and engage, engage group uh, SC two and plus one. Now let's uh, let's consider the other parity. So SC two SC SC two n. Also, this case as a, a class as description. Uh, but now it's more complicated. The point is that uh, uh, this matter sector here, D2, SC2N, is actually Lagrangian and corresponds to SUN, SQCD with two N flavors. So in our case, uh, in this case, the Tavignon theory is just uh, a, Lag a Lagrangian quiver with five gay gauge groups, all of them uh, have vanishing beta functions. So we have uh, a five dimensional conformal manifold. And in fact, uh, the uh, class of description of this theory now has eight punctures. Four are twisted and four are untwisted. Uh, so now, uh, the defect group uh, uh, is blind to the presence of untwisted punctures, uh, they, uh, they, they don't contribute at all. So uh, from, uh, from this point of view, we, we can ignore them. Uh, the important thing is that uh, um, when, when we consider the various degeneration limits, so here uh, I'm depicting the one, uh, the Q going to zero limit, uh, we find in all possible the generations um, equivalent cusps, so equivalent the generations of the Riemann Sala surface, only if we also move the untwisted punctures accordingly, in such a way that in every degeneration limit, for, uh, for instance, we have uh, uh, two spheres uh, with four punctures each. Okay. Uh, this tells us that in this case, the SL2Z group will only be in general a subgroup of the full S duality group of the theory. Uh, we have a one dimensional sub manifold of the conformal manifold, which is parameterized by Q, the other four directions are parameterized by the, uh, by the position of the other of the untwisted. Punctures. Uh, and uh, this SL2Z group maps uh, this one dimensional submanifold to itself. And only 
the casts uh, along this one dimensional submanifold sub are all equivalent. Are all equivalent. Uh, we are not making the statement that all possible casts uh, inside the full five dimensional conformal manifold are the same. This is not true. Uh, and we will restrict our attention just to this uh, one dimensional sub manifold. Now, uh, Proceeding as before, uh, we conclude that after rearranging the, the cuts, uh, if we start with a choice of polarization, which corresponds to a weakly coupled SE2 N group, and Q equals to zero, we end up in the other limit, Q going to infinity, with a SU2 N mod ZN group. So we are modding out. Uh, yeah, uh, and, Z, and Zn here is the one form symmetry of our theory. Uh, the difference with respect to the, to the previous case is that now uh, the defect group is Zn squared and not Z2n square, squared. And uh, this is analogous uh, to the uh, n equal for k is with cage algebra Sun, not. As it when. So uh, this is the difference in the second case with respect to the previous one. And okay, so we have uh, two families of theories with an SL2Z S duality group. In one case, this is just uh, the S duality of the one dimensional conformal manifold. In the second K, K, case, uh, we have uh, an, an SL2Z. To Z, which is a subgroup of the full SQI group, which maps uh, a special uh, one dimensional locus inside uh, um, the, the conformal manifold to itself. And the action of this uh, SQI group is analogous uh, to uh, that inside n equal for super young means with cage algebra SUI. Okay. Uh, question on this part? Okay. So now uh, here we have considered uh, only trinions involving uh, four metal sectors. What about uh, the cases we free? Okay, now we cannot exploit uh, any cluster serialization with regular punctures only. And uh, uh, we have instead to consider something something else, and what we will do is to consider uh, is to realize these theories from the compactification of uh, 6D models with minimal supersymmetry on a top. Okay, so uh, one way to define uh, 6D theories is uh, via compactification of F theory on uh, an elliptically fibered uh, semifold. Okay, here uh, we, we will focus on a special subclass uh, um, of these geometries with each other or defaults of this form. Uh, this will be enough uh, of our purposes. And the orbifold group gamma uh, is generated uh, by two elements. Uh, one is uh, ZK acting in this way. Uh, here, the first two entries are the C2 directions, and the third uh, describes uh, the C2. So here we have uh, action uh, um, on the torus, uh, which is uh, uh, ZK over two, when K is even, and ZK otherwise. Since uh, uh, on the torus, uh, we can have uh, only Z2, Z3, Z4, and Z6 actions. Uh, the only choices for K which are allowed are these ones, assuming, of course, that the action of, Z, of ZK on the torus is non trivial. Okay, uh, the other generator is just uh, uh, AZ, AZN acting on C2. Here, uh, indeed, uh, we could have chosen any AD uh, district subgroup of SC2, 
but we will consider only this case uh, for uh, the SEO and trinions we are interested in. Uh, this will be enough. And now, uh, uh, how do, uh, okay, now, uh, what can we say about uh, the resulting 6D theories? Uh, the discussion here depends on the divisibility of N and K. There are uh, two main classes we will consider. Uh, mainly we will actually focus on the first one. Um, so when N and K are co-prime, it can be checked that this group gamma is, equi is equivalent uh, to this following action by a cyclic group ZP. Here P is, is of course uh, NK, N times K. And Q is uh, a number co-prime uh, with P, which can be uh, the used case by case by case. Okay, this uh, description is uh, uh, is more convenient because this makes directly contact uh, with uh, this war with this work by Ekman, Morrison, and Vafa, uh, where they argue that uh, all these models correspond to non-exable theories uh, in uh, sixty. So these are theories without uh, AX prevention. Um, these are characterized uh, by the inter intersection number of curves uh, in, the, in the base of the Calabiao. And these are encoded by, by these two, no, two numbers, P and, and Q, according to a continued function. Okay, the details will not be important for this talk. Uh, another important class is when n is a multiple of k. In this case, instead, uh, we get uh, g comma g conformal method. Uh, the group g uh, is, is e8 for k equal 12, e7 for k equal 8, e6 for k equal 3 and 6, and for, uh, for k equal 4, it's uh, so 8 uh, also, the defect groups of these models are well are well known, were well, well worked out uh, in this paper. Uh, whenever n and k are co-prime, uh, this is just z and k. And k. Here I'm just uh, discussing two forms in uh, two forms in uh, this. Instead, when n is a multiple of k, of k uh, we have uh, zn over k for k equal 3 and z2n over k otherwise. Okay, it will turn, turn out that uh, the one form symmetry of all our trinium theories um, will be a subgroup uh, of this uh, uh, different group in, in 60. So, the one form symmetry for our 4D series is a subgroup of the two form symmetry uh, of the 6D theory. Uh, in the case n multiple of k, uh, they simply may match. In the other case, instead, uh, it's a, a strict subgroup. Uh, it's going to be Zn or Z2n, depending on the parity of k. OK. Now. How do we get our four-dimensional theories uh, starting from the 6D models? Okay, um, the strategy is the following. Uh, we put our 6D theory on T2, F theory on any three fold times T2 by definition is equivalent to type 2A on the same Calabria. And then in order to make contact uh, with the type 2B construction, which is the most relevant for our uh, for the trinium models we are looking for, uh, we have to uh, construct the, the mirror. Okay, once we do this, the mirror geometry will describe 
the Caruso Klein theory, we get uh, uh, upon double dimensional reduction of the 60s here. Uh, this, uh, in the case uh, of uh, very small theories, is known to be a, a CFT in for, in for, uh, in for ordi. There is an algorithm to extract it. Uh, this CFT has a class S description. Uh, in the case of conformal matter, which is uh, more relevant for us, uh, this theory is known uh, uh, not to be a CFT. Um, it will involve uh, um, an, infra an infrared free uh, vector multiplet with positive beta function, coupled to strongly coupled matter. Uh, in all the other K cases, in particular for the non mixable theories we are interested in. We currently uh, don't know what this theory is. So probably will be not conformal, like in the case uh, of uh, conformal matter theory, theories. If this is so, it means uh, it includes, uh, it has a, a, a certain gauge scope with no vanishing beta function and some matter, some matter fields. We don't know what these ingredients are, and it would be indeed interesting to find a way to answer this question and understand more precisely what this 4D field is. Uh, in any case, the idea for, for us, once we have uh, uh, the geometry described in this KK theory, is uh, try to identify our, uh, the trinium models we are interested in at special points in the, mod in the modular space of this field. And this will be done by tuning these coefficients. Okay, so this class of, uh, for this class of, the of theories, which are orbifold geometries, uh, the technology for extracting uh, the mirror uh, is known. Uh, this is encoded in, in a landau ginzburg uh, model describing uh, uh, the string uh, worksheet, the, 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 uh, the theory leading on the, st on the string worksheet. And it's super potential as uh, this form, uh, where, where we have uh, three C valued co coordinates and two which are C star valued. In this uh, uh, Lambda Ginsburg setup, all the coordinates are interpreted as fields. Here we have uh, a contribution coming from the orbifold on the top, on the toes. Here R is just uh, 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 the orbifold action on the toes, which is K or K over two, uh, as I've mentioned before. Okay, uh, this takes the following form depending on the value of K. And here we recognize exactly a part of the uh, hypersurface singularities described in the trinium series I'm, look, I'm looking for. Uh, where now this tau uh, is uh, the, uh, the modular parameter of the torus on which I compactify my, my 60 field. And ultimately, we will uh, just identify this tau with the marginal with, with the marginal coupling of our trinium field. Then we have uh, the values, the, the, for, the formations describing the, mo, the moduli of my 4D KK theory. Here, uh, this uh, exponent for uh, Y2 is just uh, um, M, MQ mod NK. Okay. So uh, here uh, is where all the parameters uh, uh, of my theory enter, and I'm interested in tuning these in order to make contact uh, uh, with the trinion theories we are interested in. Okay, so how do we get our trinion models? So, first of all, uh, we consider um, 
um, our mirror our ge ge geometry as a hyper as a hypersurface in the projectivization of my variable space, space xi and yi. Now, uh, we tune the coefficients inside the, all these terms fm in such a way that uh, we have only, uh, in, such, in, in such a way that w becomes a function of this uh, specific combination. And then since we have in a projective space, we just uh, go to uh, this patch, we set y2 to one, and then we introduce the new variable x4, which is just this combination. Now, uh, my super potential can be written in terms of x1, x2, x3, and x, and x4. And by tuning properly all the parameters, I get uh, this, uh, this expression, which is singular close to x4 equals zero. Indeed, since uh, y1 is a sister variable, x4 uh, can never be equal to one. But since we are interested in a neighborhood of the origin, we can just treat it uh, as a C variable. And here we just uh, recover um, the hypersurface singular, singular, singularity describing uh, our treatment theory. So uh, overall, what I do is start from 60, put the theory on T2. This will lead in general to a, to a non-conformal theory. And now I will try to locate uh, conformal theories sitting at special points of this theory, of this theory, of this theory. And this will include the three new models we are interested in. Here we get the uh, gauge group uh, SNK over R. Uh, notice also that by, by tuning the coefficient, uh, this is just the maximal choice for the rank. If we tune the coefficients inside FM in a different way, we just uh, uh, can get other three, other three uh, Trinions with lower exponent for x4, uh, which can be any div any divisor of nk over r. Um, are there any questions on this? Okay, good. Okay, now uh, since uh, this. Uh, 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 this, this tuning of, pa of parameters uh, never involved uh, touching this part uh, coming from the uh, from the T2 or before. Uh, the, uh, the, pa uh, the parameter ta tau inherited from the complex structure of the torus is still there. Is still there. We have never uh, touched it. This will be identified uh, with the marginal coupling of our Trinium theory. And therefore, the SL2Z has, dual, has duality uh, of, the, of the theory uh, will just be inherited from the modular tra transformation on the torus. Uh, and this is exactly analogous to the, uh, to the more supersymmetric case. When we start from the 2,0 theory, we put it on a T2, we get any, an N equal four theory. Also in that case, the SL2Z is just inherited from the duality group uh, of the, uh, from, from the modular transformation of the torus. Uh, in this case, in this case, uh, the operations of, ga of gauging one form symmetries and starting and starting uh, invertible fa fa phases are the same as in any equal form uh, as in any equal for super young miss, uh, where the, ga the ga gauge algebra the ga gauge algebra is not necessarily this one. We in general in general, a divisor of that, na of that number, and it matches the one-form symmetry of the, of the, of the trinium theory. 
when uh, the DP meta sectors uh, have a trivial cent center charge, so they don't break uh, any, uh, they don't break anything of the uh, FU center. Uh, then the one form symmetry will uh, coincide with the number of colors of our trinium theories. In this case, uh, it can be checked uh, that um, the, for, uh, the four the trinium theories as equal A and C, the conformal manifold as exactly dimension one. Instead, uh, when uh, the DP meta sectors uh, break part uh, of the center, uh, well, um, are charged under the center, uh, the one form symmetry will just be a subgroup of the center of the, of the, gauge, of the gauge group. Here in general, uh, the conformal manifold uh, is larger. So our SL2Z is only, um, um, our SL2Z refers uh, only to the coupling ta tau, in a in, in a from 60. Uh, now the central the conformal central charges A, A and C will be different. So we have these uh, two different uh, classes of, theo of theories. Uh, but both of them uh, from this perspective behave as uh, n equal for uh, super young young means. So also the construction of non-invertible symmetries be behaves. In the same. Okay, now uh, just to conclude, we have seen uh, uh, that for uh, uh, our Trinion theories, uh, our uh, strongly coupled algebraic Douglas theories, uh, as duality group uh, one form symmetry are, uh, uh, are similar to, to those of any N equal, N equal four, from this perspective, they behave in the, sa in the same way. Recently, it has also been shown that uh, this uh, analogy with N equal four is reflected in the partition function of the, of the, of the theory, in par particular, the super conformal index. In the sure limit uh, is basically identical to, to that of N equal four modulo, uh, every definition uh, of the full of the full graphity appearing in the super conformal index. Uh, so there are several uh, interesting questions to be explored. So the first one uh, is the action of S duality on the physical parameters of the EPG theories. This in general will be non-trivial. Uh, we haven't had a, addressed it, uh, we have kept all the parameters uh, uh, to zero. So we focused on the, on the action on tau. And another, another interesting question uh, is to derive the air directly from 6D, the mixed anomaly between uh, the S duality and uh, one form and one form symmetry. Uh, then uh, this analysis uh, uh, it should, should be possible to extend it uh, also to trinium theories with gauge group of type D or E, which are not uh, considered. This uh, will probably have to, uh, to do with the inclusion of uh, non abelian orbifold in the geometric uh, 6D setup. And then another question is whether we can uh, analyze uh, n equal one uh, gaugings of DP of DPG models. So uh, with this, I conclude and thank you very much. Okay, thanks very much for these nice talks. Are there questions from the audience? So if you've uh, un videoed yourself, but you haven't unmuted yourself. So well, uh, I don't know that it's exactly a question, but maybe after questions, I can, I can make a comment or start a conversation. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, go ahead. 
I, I think you're using the term S duality and S duality group very loosely. And I think a, what it really is, I mean, in, a, in sort of an invariant language is a, the S duality group is something that reflects the topology of the conformal manifold of the theory. You know, in, certainly when it's just a one dimensional conformal manifold, it's just the fundamental group of the orbifold of the conformal manifold in the orbifold sense. Um, but, and then you have to pay attention to the distinction about whether it's SL2V or a principal, a, a congruent subgroup of SL2Z or whatnot. And it wasn't, I, what I was trying to get at when I asked earlier was even in the N equals four case, it's not completely clear to me what is the S duality group of the SU2 N equals four theory compared to the S dual in this invariant sense, to the S duality group when you um, decide to gauge the discrete, um, uh, the Z2 uh, uh, one form symmetry. tree. It's not obvious to me that you don't actually check that there's not then identifications among what before were distinct theories for the uh, non big uh, S two n equals four theory. So you may have maybe you're you have a different S duality group. In other words, you have a maybe it's all of S L two Z as you're as you seem to be saying. But I, it just wasn't clear to me. And uh, so and. And the same thing is is true here. You you found I think what when you're trying to apply it to these these uh, these non-Lagrangian theories with conformal manifolds, uh, I think in these examples you're finding that the the s the the conformal manifold is probably some um, uh, congruent subgroup of SL2Z, mm -hmm. but I don't think you've quite identified which congruence subgroup. In invariant terms, the, the actual conformal manifold, how many cusps, how many Z2, how many Z3 orbifold points does it have? What's, and what's its genus for that matter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, anyway, that, that was just my comment. I think there's a, uh, I think there's an, a, an extra layer, level of detail that's still missing in our understanding of, in general of, uh, of conformal manifolds and SQL groups. Yeah, okay, yes, this is uh, an interesting point. Uh, yeah, indeed, one can check which, Combinations, yeah, leave uh, each uh, global form of the gauge loop uh, invariant. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what one uh, should look should look at. Uh, now, yeah, again, if we consider all the global forms uh, together, yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, I know what you're you're saying. You want to say, let's let's uh, let's instead of thinking of this as absolute field theories, let's think of them as relative, you know, sort of vector valued field theories. Then the S duality group, will, for let's say, for any of the n equals fours, looks like simply S L two Z. But then you have to keep track of the action on the on this uh, vector, if you like, of global structure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. So that's a different point of view, but it's a slightly, I don't know, maybe that's a better definition of S duality group, but then it, it's a different structure. It's not just, uh, it's not just the, it's not just the fundamental group of the conformal manifold, but it's mm -hmm. of this, uh, this decorated conformal manifold, this conformal manifold with this extra group, discrete group structure kept track of. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the best <laughs> notion is. I'm confused. About. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, this analysis is more along the, the, the second uh, approach, I would, mm -hmm. uh, I would say, yes. Uh, yeah, otherwise one has to work out for each global form, uh, which transformations exactly with the global mm -hmm. form variant uh, and discuss each one of them. Yeah, which is uh, yeah slightly more uh, compli complicated indeed, yes. Okay, there's another question, Craig. Hi, yeah, Hi. thanks, Simone, for this nice talk. Um, so I was, so so one thing I sort of noticed was that when you consider these sixty theories, which are like these these quotients um, of the the C two times T two, you're thinking about uh, sixty theories, which are composed of sort of chains of non higgsable stuff. Uh, um, yes. Yes. Um, so. Uh, there are slightly more examples of these kind of theories than seem to be captured by this sort of modding ZK construction. So for example, um, K mm. equals three and K equals six. As you also said, they're kind of similar K to each other. Second. Okay, here you want K equals three? Yeah. Um, so, so you say it sort of at the bottom, for, for K is three and K is six, um, these two things are sort of similar in the sense that in, in the 60 curves are like alternating chains like 6131, 613. And it depends basically whether you end in threes or sixes. Uh, yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So in both cases, uh, the action on the torus will be Z3. Mm -hmm. This will lead uh, to the trinium theories with three, uh, D3, I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, no, okay, it's the, uh, okay. One difference for sure is uh, in the gauge group. So the maximal choice I was referring to when K equals three mm -hmm. uh, is just uh, SUN. But when K equals six, uh, you get SU2N. Mm -hmm. You can get SU2N. This is one thing. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, if I remember in uh, this class, uh, uh, one example I found was, is like, was like E66 conformal matter with both E6s gauged. Yes, right. This, uh, this is one example, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but so, so, so there are possibly other examples where say you start with K equals 12. So I think K equals 12 is roughly corresponding to E8, E8 conformal matter with both E8s gauged. Um, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. But, I'm going to say this in a poor language, but you can add half of an M5 brain on each side, and you also get a theory which is just a non higgsable thing, which has no flavor symmetry, and which seems like it should also give you a theory that kind of looks like the kind of theories that you have. Um, you would say that uh, a P and Q are the same, but the theories you get are different. Yeah, my question is like, how how could they be different? Like, well, I don't know what other because okay, so 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 the reason I asked the question like this is because of course you um, do this analysis and basically these three trinions and this quadrion, uh, if I call it that, are the only things that you can have. So now it seems like there's a couple more theories in sixty that sort of behave morally similarly to these things. So I'm curious what, like, where the room is for those to fit into the 4D picture. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, well, yeah, from these orbifolds for 12, uh, yeah, I would get uh, uh, D2, D3, D6, or mm -hmm. something, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, here I was, using this uh, construction to yeah, uh, to, yeah, to derive first the K theory and then uh, mm -hmm. the trinion. So if P and Q are fixed, I think also the self-intersections are. Um, I think so, yeah. Well, at least the, the, the Formula with the continued fraction gives a unique answer. I, right. I don't know if there is something else. 
So you think there are uh, uh, two different non-exable theories with the same uh, pattern of curves? Right. So similar to the fact that there is like k equals three and k equals six here are two different sort of patterns of theories that just sort of depend where you cut it off. They always just look like six one three six one three six one three. Um, and, and and the same is 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 true for sort of the E eight example with the minus twelve curve. And so it seems like there should be more theories. I'm wondering how you would see these. I mean, this is this is more of a sort of discussion point than a question. So maybe I'm, yeah, I'm... maybe we can sort of if there are no questions, just uh, at least thank Simona and then stop the recording and then you can continue this discussion. Are there any other questions? If not, then let's thank Simon for your nice talk. I'll stop the uh, recording and.